<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do not do this to the best single coil RTA ever made. That's disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hunky Vape. I'm your host, DJ Alex, and today we're doing a comparison video between the Blaze and the Blaze Solo RTA. So ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. It's time to get these suckers unboxed, open them up, and find out how good they really are. All right, I think I'm gonna start with the original Blaze RTA. Let's take a look at this beautiful tank. Holy cow. That is gorgeous. What's this airflow gonna be like in here? Wait a minute, this design looks awfully familiar. And that top cap, boy, does that look familiar. It's a little thinner than what the uh, Oxva did with their Arbiter, but you do have the top of the chimneys rounded out, whereas this is flat on the V1 of the Arbiter. Here's the Arbiter, the best RTA ever, period, in my book. And it's because of the airflow. People ask me, you know, why, why, why do you why do you love the Arbiter so much more like the Arbiter 2? It's because the unrestricted airflow straight from the bottom, right across the bottom of the both of the coils. You've got additional airflow coming in through the side to hit the side of the coils. And this top cap is what creates that limitation of the airflow going through there. It is so easy to just cut the coils after you drop them in here, place them correctly, and bang, you're off to go. Well, here we go. Holy wow. That's, that's what that airflow is going to be called. Wow airflow. Big W right there. And that is much better airflow, in my opinion, than what you're going to get out of the Kylan V3. See that honeycomb on the side? Ooh, look, massive airflow potential here. And you've got undercoil airflow. Grub screws, oh, those are gold plated grub screws. Holy moly. 1.5 millimeter, nice standard size. Oh, does that feel good? The threads and the machining on this, damn. And while we're here, let's take off this and put on the nice bubble glass. Bubble glass. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Nice tight O-ring tolerances in that. All right. What else we got in here? Blaze RTA. Nice. Convenient pack, five millimeters is what that is indicating. And did they give us any coils? Four core fuse Clapton, 30 gauge times four wrapped in 38. NI-80, three millimeter inner diameter, supposed to ohm out at 0.45 ohms. And then when you've got a dual in there, that's gonna be a 0.22 when this is built. Specifications, 26 millimeters in diameter, 44 and a half millimeters tall, two milliliters capacity with the straight glass. But this is a comparison video, so before I build this, let's get that Blaze Solo out of here and take a look at that thing. And there we have the Blaze Solo RTA. I love the fit and finish on that. Man, is the classic stainless steel look fantastic. Nice threading. And there we have honeycomb airflow on the sides. And is that a slot across the bottom? So the airflow coming in is getting deflected up towards the coil. There's stops on the airflow. That's amazing. Got the same style on the inside. 
So let's compare these two. Complete coverage for airflow on the Blaze versus mainly side airflow and a channel of airflow underneath the coil for the Solo. All right, let's get these things built, find out what they taste like, and let's find out really how good this, this tank is. I'm so excited. Oh, 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 almost forgot what else comes in the box with the Solo. We have our coil cutting tool set at six millimeters. So for the solo, they want you to set it at six millimeters, obviously because of that V shape in there, as opposed to five millimeters for the other one. And looks like we've got the same basic baggy NI-80, four core fuse Clapton, 28 gauge times four wrapped in 38. So they are different. That is very interesting. So we got a three and a half millimeter inner diameter for the solo versus three millimeters for the dual. Awesome. All right, time to wick this and try these things out. Now, what did he have these cut at? Oh yeah, five millimeters for the Blaze RTA and six millimeters for the Blaze Solo. Yeah. Awesome. Point two zero.
All right, that went quick. All right, we're gonna put the blaze solo on the Jackaroo. Ohm's out at 0.29, 45 watts. Let's give this thing a shot. Holy cow, is that flavor fantastic, fantastic. Buttery smooth airflow. Wow. You can hear a little bit of the crackle in there. Jump up to 50 watts, get some more warmth to this vape. I love a lot of airflow. And this Blaze Solo is fantastic. Holy moly. Can a chain vape? <laughs> that is gorgeous. Holy moly. And you see the bubbles coming right up. This thing is wicking fantastic. All right. Time for us to take a look at the Blaze Dual Coil RTA. 0.22 ohms. Start off at 60 watts. See what she's like. Definitely need some more heat for that. 65. Now you can definitely hear without the honeycombs on it, with it just being a wide slot like that. The airflow is still buttery smooth, but still has a little bit of a hissing sound when you're vaping on it. Versus the solo. All right, let's go up to 70 watts. Oh, the flavor just woke up like unreal in this thing. 75 watts, 0.22 ohms on the Blaze RTA is fantastic with the stock coil. You're just getting some warmth to that vape. Wow, which one's better on flavor? Wow. Wow, wow, wow! Is this airflow fantastic? And the flavor is unsurpassed. I'm telling you, the Kylan with a single coil is nowhere near the flavor potential you get out of the Blaze Solo. And the Blaze RTA, I'm gonna have to think about this for a while because this is the closest I have ever come to the Arbiter RTA. This may be the best RTA ever. Compare them side by side. I'm gonna have to put out a fresh Arbiter and put the exact same liquid in it because right now I've got Cinnamon Danish Swirl in this one and I've got Violet Crumble in this one. And the flavor is so fantastic on both of them. I literally am going to have to have the exact same e-liquid in there, be able to do a side by side comparison. Holy moly! Wow! All right, I'll be back with my final thoughts. They nailed it. It's better than my Arbiter. Okay, I let it, I said it. Hang on a minute. Did I just 
missed something there. Say that again. <laughs> the Blaze solo is better than my Arbiter. Wow. If you are going to go buy a tank, this is the one to go buy. Single coil means your batteries last twice as long, and it will give you every bit of flavor that the Arbiter 1 gives you, every bit of flavor the Arbiter 2 gives you, every bit of flavor the Kylan V3 gives you. You can get in the Blaze Solo. Miss something that say that again? <laughs> the Blaze Solo is better than my Arbiter. The Blaze Solo is better than my Arbiter. The Blaze Solo is better than my Arbiter. Wow. If you are going to go buy a tank, this is the one to go buy. Holy moly. Wow. So with that, my wish is always peace, love, and a hunky vape to end cigarette combustion. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you.